We're going to be looking at impulsion. Now impulsion is all about having a balanced horse and that's mentally and physically. But balance I mean um, his weight and using his hind. Impulsion is also about proper self carriage and a horse picking up through his back and carrying us properly and in getting his hind underneath him and that's impulsion. Okay, So I'm going to show you a few tasks here today on the ground and ridden of how to encourage your horse to use his hind quarter, pick his back up and have good impulsion. This is good posture. Okay, Major and I, this is Major. Major's about uh, seven years old. He's a quarter horse and he's been with me since he was a little boy. Okay, and we're going to have a look at this, these exercises that you can do with your horse today. Now as we go through this I'm going to be talking about short or long horses. And I don't mean their length or how tall they are. What I mean is short or long flight distance. So if I say short horse I mean short flight distance, one that doesn't really go very much. And long horse, one that wants to run off all the time. Okay. Now depending on your horse, we'll you know will depend on which one of those they will be but they can you know they can change from day to day depending on how they're feeling so us as horsemen need to have the skills and the tools uh, to know what to do to get those horses to uh, have good impulsion okay so we're going to show you both of those ends of the spectrum here today so we can learn those skills what we're going to do is start off with um, a short range circle which is basically just leading your horse in a circle. Now in the circle because as he goes round and forward in the circle he has to laterally flex a little bit. Okay so I'm going to ask my horse to go forward here. Now the first key, come on mate. the first signal to the horse that you're going to go forward you need to pick your body life up. After that you're going to use your lead rope then your stick. Okay, try not to go straight to the stick. Even though it might work, it doesn't really give the horse some options. Now he's going around me here nicely. What I'm going to ask him to do is stop. Now to stop, I'm going to yield his hindquarter away. So I'm going to wave this at his hindquarters until it goes away. Now he's in my space a little bit, so I'll just get him back. That was a hind quarter yield to a stop. Okay, we've got to have a look at these circles. These are called short range circles. And when they do these circles, they've got to use their ends independently. So their fore quarter and their hind quarter. Same as when we ride. So here I want him to go out in the circle. His fore quarters has got to go out away from me. He goes around happily on his circle. Now when he's going out here on his circle, I've got to leave him alone, okay? Because that's a comfort part, that's a release part for the horse. It's a release that teaches the horse, so we've got to release often. Here he's doing nice. I'm going to come around this other side here. We're just doing this basic first up. Hind quarter yield. I'm going to wave this at his backside until it goes away. If it doesn't go away, you're going to tap it a little bit, okay? And here he did a hind quarter yield and stopped and he didn't come in my space. That's a good thing. Some of your horses, the first time you do this hind quarter yield, they, they might yield the hind quarter round, but they'll really come in your space. If that happens, pick your body life up, wave your stick, and even tap it on the lead rope if you have to until they get out of your space. You might even need to practice that by itself first up to teach the horse to stay out of your space. Okay, so that's our circle, having good hind quarter yield and fore quarter yield. So I'll just do this one more time this way. Body life up, direction with the lead rope, he goes, his forequarter goes out away from me and then around. Hind quarter yield to a stop. Stay out of my space. Okay, looks pretty good. Once you can do this at a walk, see if you can get this up to a trot straight from the get go. So there he was a little bit slow, I had to give him a tap, so I'll stop him again. You'll need a trot circle. So I'll point it that way and get him trotting. That was good, he went straight into the trot. When you're doing this circle here, be real careful not to do any steps backwards. Hind quarter yield. Because if you step backwards, what that'll do is it'll cause the horse to come onto, into your personal space. So if you step back, they see that as submissive, and they'll come into your personal space. So be wary of that. Walk forward. And if you've got a horse who's got a real tendency of doing that, you might need to actually walk a bigger circle. So I'll show you what I mean. Out of my space there, buddy up to a trot and here I'm going to walk around in a big circle. Okay. 
when he's doing a nice job, one quarter yield to a stop. Good boy. And a rub on the head just to emphasize that he's facing the right direction. Okay? So for some of your horses, you know, especially if you've got a short horse, doing that snappy departure is going to be a bit challenging. But it's much better working on it here on the ground. And to, so when we come up to riding, we've got the odds in our favour of having a good transition. I'm going to take this over now that we've got some circles happening. We're going to use these circles to get our horse over a little jump. Now this little jump is just to get our horse doing a canter stride, just to get it a canter stride, because we want to see uh, what they're going to like when they what they're going to be like when they canter. So we're going to just go over this little barrel over here. I'm going to ask my horse over these barrels, and we're just going to ask him to do a hind quarter yield on the other side. Great, good job, mate. Okay, could have lifted your feet a little bit more. <laughs> Four quarter yield, trot over the barrels, that's better mate. Hind quarter yield to a stop. Okay. Great, good job. Back it up a bit there. Good. Alright, so that's what we need just to get them to do a jump left and right and a hind quarter yield left and right. Now, first time you come out, some of your horses might not want to jump the barrels. So you'll have to, if you've got two barrels, just make the gap a little bit wider. I'll just make my gap wider here. And let them walk through that gap until they build their confidence. That's better. Okay, you ready? Four quarter yield, good boy. And when you're doing this, try and have good, clear direction on your lead rope. Good boy. Through the gap, hind quarter yield. So just to walk through the gap first up. Once they can do that, trot them through the gap. And what you'll find is when you go to when they go to trot through the gap, if it's small enough, they'll jump it. Like even though they don't have to, they'll jump it there. Some will slow down to walk and walk through. But as you get that better. They'll jump that little gap. Once they're jumping the gap, you can close the gap. On these barrels, there's one, one more little thing that you could have a look at. Once you get the barrels happening, just make sure as they jump the barrel that they're nice and flexed on in the jump. Now, when a horse canters, I'll just turn him around here. I'll show you where this canter stride is that I was talking about. I'll just get his feet. There we go. Yep. Okay. So here he's got his left left hind foot in front of his right hind foot. Okay. So if he was cantering, that would be a left lead. All right. Now if he goes around me to the left here over these barrels, when he lands on the other side, I'd like him to be in that position when he lands and places his feet on the other side. What that means is he's flexed to the left. If he's on the other, if the legs are the other way around, it means he's flexed to the right. It means when he jumps he's going to counter arc. It's not a good thing. So you'd have one of those horses that sort of um, every chance he gets he, he counter arcs and flex the wrong way. Doesn't make for good impulsion. Okay, we're going to jump him over here now. We'll have to get a camera shot. I'll try and do a still shot of this. Get a still shot on this as he lands. Oop. That one was right, it was a bit hard to see, but I'll do this other way. Up to a trot, see if we can see these back feet there. I'll do that again. There. Alright, try the other way. So these are left leads at the moment, he's doing a good job. Oop, they're both together. So we'll go around again. That left foot was in front of the hind foot just a little bit. So that's what we're looking for is for those for that leg, those back legs to be like that when they land. That means he's flexed the right way. Lateral flexion is one of the key things to our impulsion. Just to test your impulsion over these jumps. See if you can once you can do this at a trot, see if you can come up from a standstill. Good boy. From a standstill. Ask your horse to stop, then jump the jump. It's a great test of impulsion. For those of you with short horses, actually short or long horses, it's a great exercise. 
So we stopped him at the barrel. Don't you jump there yet. Okay. Good boy, sniffing off of my direct rein over the barrel. Hind quarter yield. Good. So we'll do that again. Wait. Okay. <laughs> It's a great little exercise. Get your horse thinking and waiting for you to ask the question, would you like to jump? We're going to work on some transitions now. We're going to do some things called rebounds. All right, so rebound. Now, when we're doing a rebound, it's like the word says, is it's a rebounds uh, from forward to backward, and we're going to rebound from backward to forward. All right. So we're just going to do this along a fence line as well. So we're going to put the horse up against the fence. So we're going to be on the other side so the horse is going to be between us and the fence okay and we're going to ask him to go backwards the reason we're doing that is a little bit claustrophobic for the horse and it'll start to show up whether your horse is going to run off or slow down or uh, push on your personal space when it's in claustrophobic places when we ride in the saddle it's the same thing because we hop on the horse it's a claustrophobic position so if we can put them in this position now and see how they're going to respond it's a great little test it's a really good exercise to help you with your transitions later on okay down the fence line and use my body language first and my lead rope then my stick my backwards body language lead rope and then stick if I have to here we go body language lead rope come on mate and just rebound them backwards okay looks pretty easy doesn't it get to where you can do this come on see if you can get it to where you don't need the stick so here we're just going backwards we'll do that again just quit when the horse is going backwards there without the stick or the lead rope where they're following your body language okay rather than trying to finish so i'll try it if you're going backwards and he goes sorry mate i'm trying to show him what not to do you don't try and finish when you're using your stick you finish when you're not using your stick so here go backwards stick not using my stick finish then forward then backward and you'll find after a while you don't need your stick and that'll be a good thing okay make sure you can do that both sides one quarter yield now some horses will try and push on you in this make sure to protect your personal space if they push on your personal space and make sure they have a nice back up here. Try and finish, you know, try and have a straight back up too. So if they go a little bit crooked, go a bit further until it's straight. If you get real good at this, you can take this out and you can take, oh, you could do it on the fence line up to a trot and then you could even do it out here in the open as well. Okay? And get real good at getting your horse doing those transitions. That'll help you later on for your riding. Another great little combination exercise once you've got all that happening is to go over your jump down to a halt and combine your rebound in your barrel jump. So we'll do that again. One quarter yield. There. Over. Rebound. That's really going to test your impulsions. Great fun exercise for you and your horse. Now that we've got our horse travelling forward nice with the circles and the jumps and we can do some transitions with our rebounds, I'm going to start to um, have a look at our lateral moves. Now these things are to, these are all tools to help you keep your horse laterally soft while he's travelling forward. So we're going to build on these tools, they start here on the ground and later on we're going to use those in our riding, they're real important. The reason we need that lateral flexion, that softness through the back, when they flex through the back, um, they'll pick up through the middle and their hind will come underneath and they'll use their body the way we need for our riding and that's that's good good impulsion, good posture. Okay. Here I'm gonna do a short range sideways. This is like in our level one in our foundation program. So we hold the snap to protect our personal space. We're just gonna put the stick out here and drive him sideways a bit. Here we go sideways and I'm going to relax and wait for him to stop. Okay, now what I want for him to do is stop nice and straight. So he stopped a bit crooked there, so 
and get him going a bit faster here. So he's sort of all bent out of shape there. When he's straight, I'm going to stop. No, that's no good, Major. No good. Too crooked. Too crooked. Yes. Good boy. <laughs> the one where he's straight, he has to. When they're straight, they'll have to uh, pick themselves, pick their belly up, and get uh, get their hind underneath better. It's a bit of effort, and uh, Major's sometimes a bit short, so effort's not one of his strong points. So he tries to do things a little bit lazy sometimes. So here he's all crooked, so he says, oh, I'm going sideways, but no, I want you to pick his belly. I want him to pick his belly up, so he's got to be going straight. Put the hind around there. There, good boy. So when he's straight, I finish. And that's the thing. You'll get a bit of a feel for it. You might need a bit of practice and timing as you practice that one. Okay, so that's our short range sideways. Now we're going to use a uh, few of the techniques, so I'll just, we're going to do a circle now and we're going to ask them to go sideways off of the circle to a stop, okay? And what this is doing is giving them a reward for uh, flexing and going sideways. Now we're going to need the tools that we've learned so far, we're going to need that short range sideways that we just did, this one. We need that, need them going sideways. And we're going to need that uh, a few of the techniques out of the rebound we did there a moment ago. I'll show you, which was when we put the lead rope back and put some energy in front of him that he went backwards, okay? Because as we do this circle here, we're going to need those tools. So he's going around me in a circle, I'm going to push my energy towards the side of him, used a bit of a lead rope there to stop the forward, and got him to go sideways, not forward mate, sideways, there sideways to a stop. Right, good boy. We'll do that again. Up to a walk. Over there buddy. Walking. I'll come around here so you guys can see. Here I'm going to put my body language towards him. He goes sideways to a stop. Good boy. That's his reward. I'm going to build on this. We'll do this the other side. One quarter yield. Four quarter. Good boy. And this is walk to a stop at the moment. So walk sideways. I'm trying to stop him here. Good boy. To a stop. Once we can do that, I'm going to do walk Sideways, keep walking, and open up and do the forward. Okay, so it's going to be real uh, important that you change your focus here. So this here, the focus is towards the horse. When you want him to go forward again, you've got to focus forward. Do that again. Over that way, nice. And then forward. Okay, get that nice and smooth. We're going to need this technique in our riding in a little while. Do my other side, honk with yield, four quarter. Try and, you know, when you're changing directions and getting started on things, try and practice those hind quarters and four quarter yields at every opportunity you can. Same when you're riding, if you get a chance to practice a rein position, then do one. Okay, sideways, good, forward, sideways. Good boy, forward. Okay, change sides. Now we're going to take that up to a trot. Once we can do that at a walk, we'll do it at a trot. Nice turn, buddy. And we'll do this to a stop first up. So he's in a trot. Now, to do the trot sideways, you're going to have to get moving a little bit yourself. Boom, boom, boom. Down to a stop. To a trot. Sideways. And to a stop. Good boy. Other side. Trot. Good. Oops, that was my fault. I kept trotting. Down to a stop. 
No, stop buddy, stop, stop. Some of your horses might do that. And that's what the exercise is for. Teach them not to run off after you've asked them to stop. Try, <laughs> try again. <laughs> Trot sideways, good, down to a stop. That was better. Then, same as the walk, we're going to do the trot sideways, but keep trotting. So trot sideways, good, and then open up forward. Trot sideways, open up forward. It's a great physical exercise <laughs> for the horse and us. Physical, I mean, uh, to do this trot sideways, they've really got to pick themselves up through the middle and, and use their hind properly. Um, so it's a great physical, like muscle exercise. Also, it's a leadership thing because here I'm pushing my personal space on him and he has to move out of the way. So it's great for building your leadership with your horse also.